Hai Assalamualaikum Selamat datang ke YouTube channel The Saxophone Store So hari ni kita ada tetamu jemputan Yang sangat-sangat istimewa sekali We have Julian Chan in the house Hi Julian Chan, how are you? Hi, I'm good man, how are you? I'm like this <laughs> Always <laughs> Okay, here. so Kita ada Julian Chan Julian Chan adalah seorang saxophonist Yang sangat-sangat professional di Malaysia Namanya sangat terkenal Semua orang kenal dia Julian Chan Dah berlakon cerita Berlakon movie eh hari tu Ya, yeah, mu- Uh, the movie I think uh, Crazy Rich Asian Crazy Rich Asian Siapa yang tak tengok lagi Boleh pergi tengok Julian Chan dalam tu Okay Macam mana Julian Chan Boleh jadi Saxophonist Itu adalah soalan pertama So semua orang boleh tahu Macam mana orang Saxophonist Jadi saxophonist lah Silakan Sebenarnya Saya mula saxon Usia 13 tahun 13 tahun ha, 13 tahun Masa tu I dengar Pertama kali Dengar uh, Lagu Dave Koss Dave Koss. Ini punya debut album. First album ever, I think 1992. I think, 1992. around that time. Around that time. Around that time. 91 dan 92. 91 or 92 lah. <laughs> okay. So, so pertama kali saya uh, dengar lagu Dave Koss, I'm like, wah, saya suka, saya suka dia punya sound, his, his tone dan, dan, you know, cara dia main, sedap. Tapi masa tu m- memang uh, dah ada Kenny G semua tu, tapi bila saya dengar Dave Koss, I'm like, wow, man, I want to play saxophone. So, itulah. Uh, di situ lah saya, saya mula untuk main, main saxophone. saxophone. So yeah. adakah uh, you start dengan main saxophone terus, or you ada start music class before that ke macam mana? Huh? Okay, uh, I think we started music class mas- macam uh, daja apa lima enam macam tu. Lima enam dah start class. Dah start, oh, dah start oh, music kan, nak belajar oh, music theory semua tu kan, main recorder. <laughs> I think I start music masa tu lah. Tapi tapi saya tak, tak belajar formal macam piano, saya tak belajar uh, semua tu. So in, in that way, I, I terus masuk saxophone. I see. Faham? So dulu Julian, waktu you, waktu you awal-awal start saxophone, adakah you join macam orkestra dekat sekolah ataupun you join, join brass band ke? Ada join macam tu tak dekat sekolah, ensemble? Tak ada sebab saya uh, tinggal di Kajang. Masa tu saya belajar dekat uh, Kajang High School. So dia orang, masa tu dia orang tak ada school band, tak ada ensemble. So nothing actually. So I pick I I pick up on myself then belajar sendiri lah. Then uh, dengar Dave Cosme album nak nak cari no semua tu. So I, I mostly self taught lah. Wow, mostly self taught. Very inspiring and cheeky. Okay, so uh, lepas pada dah habis sekolah, saya, saya ada terbaca dekat satu tempat tu yang you pergi study dekat overseas Study music, doing masters Ya, yeah. masters music. in uh, jazz performance Jazz performance Okay, perjalanan tu macam mana? Like, diploma apa, degree apa, study apa, A-level, satu-satunya yang berhenti Sampai ke situ, macam mana? Ah Ini cerita memang aneh sikit <laughs> Sebab <laughs> Kita nak so, tahu yang aneh tu, yang aneh tu kita nak tahu So, lepas uh, sekolah menengah Uh, saya sebenarnya masa tu ikon baru set up okay. uh, yang baru buka so mm. so of course nak nak cari nak cari student kan then at first I nak belajar kat situ tapi uh, uh, of course saya punya ibu bapa tak bagi lah masa tu lah <laughs> okay you got do siapa, something siapa parents yang bagi belajar music cuma yeah. tak bagi tahu <laughs> <laughs> okay terus sambung susah nak cari makan kan betul betul so I actually tak belajar music the time mm. I mm. pergi belajar A levels Uh, in 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 business. in business. Lepas tu, I pergi uh, belajar di Australia mm-hmm. uh, untuk da- uh, accounting degree. Okay. So sebenarnya saya saya ada belajar uh, I mean accounting degree. Mm-hmm. Lepas tu, I balik uh, da da graduate, I balik Malaysia. Then masa tu, I actually mula nak jadi professional saxophone. Okay. <laughs> At the same time, I had I had belajar dengan uh, Greg Lyons. Greg Lyons. Uh, okay. So I belajar dengan dia private empat tahun and before that of course uh, masa I, I mula dulu I belajar dengan uh, Encik Thomas Tessera mm-hmm. uh, Encik he's my he's my mentor lah from masa I kecil dulu mm-hmm. but then after I graduate from from uh, university I belajar dengan Greg lebih kurang empat tahun and during that time mula dengan jadi repla- hotel replacement okay. uh, lobby lounge masa tu lah kan? macam tu lah then uh, that's why I started lah at the same time 
uh, I, I main dengan banyak ensemble, my own band, uh, main dengan Grab punya band. So, I think that's where I got my start lah in in the music scene. First job tu dekat mana? Saya nak tahu. Like first, very very first job yang you main music dapat pay dapat pay tu dekat mana? I think this one is the same for most of us. Okay. Kat Shook KL. <laughs> <laughs> Give me five. Same. <laughs> Betul. Betul. Betul tak? Sama lah. Yeah. I pun sama. <laughs> Even like 2016. Yeah. And oh. and the first pianist I played with for that gig is Dato Muzani. Oh, ah. big name. Betul, Dato Muzani adalah satu pianis yang sangat sangat besar. Nama dia sama lah. Julian Chan pun sama. Okay, so... Wow, amazing, amazing, sangat-sangat menarik story itu belajar lain jadi profesional lain itu benda yang normal. <laughs> okay, soalan yang seterusnya dalam sepanjang perjalanan music ni pernah terjadi tak satu breakdown yang sangat-sangat teruk sampai you rasa macam you nak stop? Ada, actually Ada. quite a few times after I finish degree, lepas tu I kerja profesional lebih kurang tujuh tahun, then I went to New York to study music. New York, okay. So I, I I belajar di Queens College in uh, in, in New York. Uh, masa tu I pernah at least break down once. Okay, why? Like, Your friend. Nah, <laughs> actually it's like like. Nah, <laughs> 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 masa tu I tak ada good friends, but I too busy na na focus. Okay, okay. But actually, that that breakdown lah is like macam uh, I tak ada confidence. Ah, like you know, like saya saya tengok siapa punya classmates semua tu, they all very good and everything, and I'm like. Not not that good at all. So the breakdown, perasaan uh, uh, saya masa breakdown is like, do I want to give up? Do I want to keep playing saxophone? I feel like I want to give up because it's like you know I don't think I'm any good, <laughs> you know. So, so how, how do you overcome that? It's quite interesting actually. Uh, that one I remember there's one night, there's one night um, I I like wow. Actually this is tr- this is a true story. I was in, in my bed. Tengah nangis It's like ah, I don't play anymore You know But then I just Macam Berdoa sikit lah mm-hmm. And the next morning I I, f- I felt like I had a lot more energy Lepas tu Ada tenaga Ada Macam inspiration lah okay. Untuk just Keep going on I say I love playing the saxophone too much mm-hmm. So I'm just gonna Keep on Like uh, Trying lah Let's go Wow Okay Very very interesting story So Kepada siapa-siapa Yang nak give up tu Dengar cerita Julian Chan Very very Membantu uh, Orang cakap macam tu Okay kita nak uh, Have a break kejap uh, Julian nak perform Satu lagu Lagu apa Julian? First song? The first song ialah Satu lagu original uh, saya, saya tulis lagu ni I think Dua tiga tahun mm-hmm. And uh, Sebab I, I main dengan My good friend Asamat Gitaris Kita main di Um LRT masih jamek. The time right. they are uh, out on the move. Ah, okay. So kita buat satu duo kind of thing. So this song I wrote is called uh, What's Up Us or Blues for Us. What's Up Us, Blues for Us from Julian Chan. Let's go. Thank you. 
Thank you.